Uh, paycheck fairness. The Republicans voted it down. Are you guys surprised? Not surprised. Seriously. How could you? Who, who, who here at this table is not for paycheck fairness? They're not. Uh, they're not oh. going to win the women's vote anyway. What do they care, right? Yeah. Idiots. I'm serious. That is. I really. Does anyone want to challenge me? To on go that? back. To go back to Jefferson. Yeah. <laughs> got, um. I'm sorry. It's just. Uh, I. I don't understand it. Um, I'm sure if someone said that there was a really great explanation, they just spout it out right now. Mike Allen. Any reason why? Uh, I, of, I don't know. Someone would be against paycheck fairness for women in this country, the United States of America. This shows why we're going to be locked up for the next few months. They're against it because President Obama is for it. That's the bottom the line. The Obama campaign made a huge push on it, and that doomed it with Republicans. Right. So if that's what it comes down to, then that's what you're going to be voting on. I think that's why the president's going to win. Yeah. Because they're tired of this stuff. Pathetic. Bill Clinton's in the news. Other bad things. Why don't we get to Paycheck Fairness? Where Senate Republicans blocked it yesterday, the Paycheck Fairness Act. A bill offered by Democrats to help women fight for equal pay. Uh, I don't. Uh, the bill failed along party lines, 52 to 47, as Republicans argued it would pose unprecedented government control over employee compensation. For Democrats, the vote was aimed at putting Republicans on the defensive on an issue that is important to female voters. President Obama issued a statement saying, in part, this: "It is incredibly disappointing that in this make-or-break moment for the middle class, Senate Republicans put partisan politics ahead of American women and their families, despite the progress that." has been made over the years, women continue to earn substantially less than men for performing the same work. Democrats are also calling uh, out Mitt Romney for his silence on the issue. Even Mitt Romney has refused to publicly oppose this legislation. He may oppose it, but he's afraid to say anything about it. Why? Because it's obvious why. He should show some leadership, my opinion, Governor. Romney and tell his fellow Republicans that opposing fair pay for all Americans is shameful. Instead, no one knows where he stands. I, I couldn't agree more. Meacham, I, I, just, I just want to offer a, a thought. I, I don't understand why this wasn't a bigger issue. I don't understand. Earlier? Yeah, I don't understand yeah. why this wasn't campaigned for. Uh, maybe maybe I've missed it, uh, but I don't think <laughs> no, so. No, well, they brought it up before, uh, and it lost. They uh, started by creating the White House Council on Women and Girls. I mean, I can't believe that this is even an issue today and that this had well, this problem. One of the roles they then passed the Lilly Ledbetter Act. Uh, they have been slowly trying very hard to crack the code on this, and I... I have to tell you, they have credibility. They have history the on their side. The White House has right. a record on their side. I don't know anyone who could say this is pure politics. Of course, everything is political, but not pure. This They have started uh, from the get-go. This presidency has been working on this, and Republicans just want to say no. And I know you all won't well, say Harold anything will tell about you, it. This, this, uh, it, it, it the, I think the Obama people believe what they're trying to do here. Mm -hmm. The timing of the vote is pure politics. What's going to happen is about three, four months from now, there's going to be ads showing all these guys who are in all these Senate races around the country, which are much closer than anybody expected, that they voted against equal pay for women. It's no, a crusher right. in the most influential voting group in the entire country. Well, they country. had a choice, and they, they, they chose to vote against equal pay That's for women. That's what I don't quite so get, especially problem. Scott Brown. He's, this is a terrible vote for him. Oh. This may put Elizabeth Warren over the top in a dead heat race. Yeah. I am shocked at that. Yeah. Mike Allen, please. Yeah, this was teeing up these ads, and the White House, the Obama campaign, see this as a fantastic issue they can talk about a lot. Uh, the uh, president's close advisor, Valerie Jarrett, a Morning Joe viewer, mm -hmm. went on Twitter just on this issue. Her first tweet, at VJ44, was on this issue. They're going to keep talking about the smarter politics for Senate Republicans would be to say, fine, vote for it, take away the issue. Uh, hand the club off to someone else, but now they've given Democrats a great weapon. It's been interesting. Republicans in the Senate have gone quiet on this. You only had one Republican go to the floor of the Senate, even to debate the bill. Afterward, Mitch McConnell video, didn't respond yeah. to Harry Reid's statement. This is obviously not a vote they're particularly proud of, I don't think. I, I don't, for the life of me, you know, 
There are a lot of things that happen in politics, and the governor can speak to this as well as anybody. And you, you, you seem to be, if you're a Republican, you would have to say, you know, we may have an opportunity tonight, being last night, to pick up some momentum here. Yeah. And then you go and vote yeah. on an issue that everyone can understand. Yeah. The title of the bill is easy to understand. And really he, um, yeah. if you don't, you made an imbecile and understand the title of the bill. And then this is such an easy <laughs> thing. I think the loser, the governor put, touched on it very, the real loser last night was Scott Brown. Because you give Elizabeth Warren a race that could determine the, the balance of power in the Senate. Why Republicans would put him on the spot like that? should suggest to a lot of Americans, particularly independent voters, this is not the group you want in charge in the White House, I mean, and this is not the group you so want in charge just, in, in the Senate the either. Strategy from it. If I were the Republican leader, why wouldn't you have the Senate pass the bill and then yeah, send it over to the House where you know they're not going to pass the bill in the House? They won't even come up in the House. Again, this is the reason you don't want don't this group in this. charge of the country setting policy across yeah, the border. They say it will hurt they, business. They can't even do political. So it, nobody, yeah, and right now, growth. I think people... Put aside yeah, the substance I mean, for them. The politics just don't make sense. Do you want to hurt women or do you want to hurt growth? Thank you. Republican Party. Uh, listen, and by the way, I, I think if you have more women working, and this is an inspiration for them to do so, because you just feel like you can't get a leg up when you're not paid. I think if you had more women making those, more women making those kinds of votes, you'd have a lot more intelligent policy. Well, we do. Policy we need making. more women, absolutely, in leadership positions. The amazing thing is, we didn't need to have a vote like this. So we imagine that you would just it's, pay people. Yeah. <laughs> it's really depressing.